Oh, well, hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, I was hoping to get the whole tutorial done in within 10 minutes, but I was already uh, approaching 9 minutes and that to stop it. So here we are now in Creating Video Tutorials 2. It's uh, like a sequel. Um, welcome to Hollywood. Just bear with me a minute. Nice. Okay, so we'd uh, just done the pre-planning section. We finished that. Uh, and we're now going to move into recording. Uh, the nitty gritty bit. Okay, uh, you've cr completed all your pre uh, preparation and it's time to start recording. Um, start Camtasia, Camtasia recorder or whatever screen capture you're using uh, and click on the record button. Um, the first thing that um, any screen recorder needs to know is what area of the screen to record and here it is, it's going to capture this uh, Zara Extreme window when you click on it, um, it will start to record. First thing that happens is the screen goes black. Don't be too worried about that. And then this uh, Camtasia, Camtasia recorder will start to record. And you see here that um, you've got the frame rate going up. How many frames it's recording. Um, the length of the uh, recording, which is important. Because as I say, if you're doing it for YouTube, you've got to keep it below 10 minutes. Um, it also has an audio level recorder. And the other thing to mention on this is that um, whilst YouTube recommends 30 frames per second for screen recording, I find that 15 frames per second works quite well and keeps the file size down by at least, you know, by a half. Okay, so here's the area of the screen that's being captured and it's uh, with Camtasia at least, it's it's got these uh, four corner, green corner units that tend to flash. Um, I've further highlighted it by an orange um, transparent overlay just to sh show that um, in a bit more detail. Um, I'm going to zoom out now and just imagine that this um, area that I'm highlighting with the arrow is your whole monitor screen. And this section here, um, within this, the, the four co green corners and the orange highlight, is the area that's being um, that's being recorded. Now, once you've started the recording, there's nothing to stop you expanding the window. In fact, it, it, it's almost a must. So, if you got hold of the Zara Zara Extreme window and expand it out, you can now see that you far more in the in the Zara Extreme window. Um, you can see the whole whole of the toolbar and all the info bars are also available. Of course, this area is still only the area that's being recorded. But if you want to highlight, say, that tool there, you can just move the screen along a bit and that now becomes in view. If you, say, want to apply a feathering to this um, ellipse here, you can just move the thing along until the feathering tool becomes apparent. Um, you can either just tell the, the um, viewer that you're going to apply a feathering, remove back and then apply the feathering, or you can leave that tool there, use the push tool to bring, and I haven't um, actually simulated that here, but you can use the push tool to bring the uh, drawing into that this section of the screen. So you can see that's, that's quite uh, handy. Similarly, as I said before, what you need to do is, um, with preparation, is to have um, various parts of what you're going to use, the galleries, etc., off screen. And here I've got the clip art gallery off screen. Not only have I got the clip art gallery off screen, but I've got the, the particular um, part, uh, particular file in the clip art gallery uh, ready for use. So all I have to say is, all right, I've opened the clip art gallery, move that into the the recordable window and drop that onto the screen. So that's why um, pre-planning also comes in very importantly. Anyway, you, you, you continue on, you, you um, recording until you're quite happy with it. When it's finally there and you're happy with it, you click on the stop. Okay, the, the recording is now complete. Uh, your Astro file, save it. It then plays a preview on your video. 
So that ends the recording section. We then come up to uploading to YouTube and basically you've got to share your video. There's no point making a screen capture video if you're not going to share it. So we're going to go to uh, uploading to YouTube. Um, obviously the first thing you need to do is create an account with YouTube. Um, I'm not going to talk you through this. It's quite simple and straightforward. Once you've got an account, you can, you can go on... Uh, go to my account um, and then upload new video so you click on the upload new video um, first thing you need to do is uh, supply a title um, then a brief description so I've put a title is using the push tool and a brief description a brief video about that you'd be actually better off saying a brief tutorial about the Zara extremes push tool um, and then you have to supply tags and tags are a bit like um, tags in HTML um, apart from the fact that they're not comma separated they're just space separated so you put something like Zara extreme push and tool um, things I haven't used you could put vector drawing and tutorial and finally you can get to uh, the category and they've changed the categories recently um, so I'm starting to tend to use how to and DIY so having done that you go into step two of the uploading video and you have to do a browse um, and search for the tutorial you've just created um, you find the AVI file the AVI file and click save and then the file path appears here and all at the moment I've just got a short um, pass but it normally it would be the full pass and then you click on the upload video and this is the the, the boring part now uh, this really gets boring because it can take several minutes um, it, a lot of it depends on your connection speed uh, the time of day you collect uh, you, you connected and how busy the YouTube server server is at the time um, so you know once you've done that go out and mow the lawn or something just it, 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 it's the worst thing of the whole lot anyway when you come back from mowing the lawn here it says video uploaded and the upload is complete um, and it has down here some um, gumph about the code and all the rest of it we'll come to that later on um, we just need to click on this my videos bit click on this my videos and here's your new uploaded uh, file um, what actually is happening it's being processed and that's why you've got this camera with a, um, a clock on it there's no link whatsoever what actually happens is when you upload your um, file which is normally an AVI an AVI file um, YouTube converts that to an FLV a FLAV um, file which is the flash um, basic um, what, what it's got a um, video file, um, so that can take some time as well. And eventually, once that's happened, the whole thing will come up. And you'll have this um, nice little um, screen grab of what it is, which doesn't mean anything to anybody when you're doing these uh, tutorials. Um, plus, but at least you've got a link now, and you can click on that link, and it will take you to your. Um, to your new creation uh, as I say that expanded out um, I always prefer myself to have it scaled down like that uh, at least everything is then a lot clearer than it is otherwise um, anyway that's the end of the uploading YouTube uh, uploading to YouTube section and I'll have to finalize this bit and then go on from there cheers <laughs>